Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be summing an infinite series. We have one half x squared plus two thirds x to the third plus three fourths x to the fourth, so on and so forth. And we're gonna be evaluating this infinite sum in terms of x. First of all, something we need to think about is the convergence. Do we have a finite sum or does this diverge? And of course, since we're looking for a sum like this, it should, right? So let's go ahead and see how we can solve a problem like this. So we're gonna go ahead and solve it and then we're gonna be looking at some results from Wolfram Alpha. Do you think Wolfram Alpha can solve this problem? So we have this interesting sum where we have powers of x multiplied by fractions, such as one half, two thirds, three fourths, four fifths, so on and so forth. So what do you notice about this? One of the things you need to think about is we're looking for a pattern, right? So what's the pattern? Well, if you pay attention closely, you're gonna realize that the power of x appears in the denominator of the fraction, which is in front of the variable term. In other words, the coefficient is made up of two integers that are consecutive like two and three, and the denominator is the power of x. So there's a way to write this using different notations, which we're gonna look at in a little bit. But for right now, let's think about how we can approach the problem, right? Well, if, we, if only we had a sum like this, x squared, x cubed, x to the fourth, so on and so forth, we could easily evaluate this, right? I'm, I'm hoping that you can. Well, if you think about the infinite geometric series, of course, for certain values, if I have to tell you, we do have a formula, right? If x is between negative one and one, then this sum converges to one over one minus x. In other words, as x approach, as n approaches infinity uh, of this sum, it's gonna approach a finite value x equals one doesn't have a particular value because it becomes undefined. So we're gonna to have to exclude one and negative one as well for a good reason. Because if you replace x with negative one, you get one half, there's no way this is gonna be negative. Uh, ne this is gonna be one half for a negative value because if you add up a bunch of negative values, anyway, it's not gonna work. So where do we go from here? Well. We start with this, we don't have one plus x, so we might as well just subtract it like this from both sides, and this will be gone, and our sum is gonna start with this. But again, it's not good enough, because we have coefficients. But if you think about it, the coefficients are actually made up of this, because of the difference between the numerator and the denominator. For example, two over three is one minus one third. Three over four is one minus one fourth. Great. So there's, not, there's a nice way to approach it, maybe, right? What does that mean? It means that you can kind of write this as one minus one half x squared, and then one minus one third x cubed, and then one minus one fourth x to the fourth, and so on and so forth, right? Okay, great. And now what do you do next? You split, right? We have a plus a positive terms and negative terms, so it's gonna look like this. One x squared is gonna be x squared and then x cubed. Uh-oh, that looks familiar, doesn't it? And then we're gonna be subtracting a bunch of terms. Let's go ahead and put all of them in parentheses so we don't have to write the minus sign because we're lazy. One half x squared, one third x to the third, one fourth x to the fourth, so on and so forth. Okay, the first series is very familiar because we, we can do it. It's geometric, right? What about the second one? Hmm, we do get something like one half of x squared, or I can think of it this way. x squared over two, x cubed over three, x to the fourth over four, so on and so forth. Does that ring a bell? If it doesn't, look at the general term, x to the power n divided by n. Hmm, that kind of reminds me the power rule for integration. Does that remind you too? If you're new to calculus, don't worry, you'll learn and I have quite a few videos on uh, you know, calculus. You can go ahead and check out my playlist. If you like complex numbers, go ahead and check out A plus BI. I have another channel where I focus on complex numbers. Great, so to be able to do this now, we're gonna have to use integration, but where do we start? So here's what we can do. We can start with this, all right? And I'm gonna show you why, I'll tell you why I start with X not with one, 
you don't need to. And then we can kind of, you know, we, we know we know that this is gonna start with x, so the sum is x over one minus x, right? And then where do we go from here? Here's what we do. Here's the hocus pocus magical or maybe mathematical touch. We integrate both sides. Awesome. This is where the magic happens because when you integrate x, you get x squared over two and then x cubed over three, x to the fourth over four and so on and so forth. Wow, that's just awesome, isn't it, right? This is beautiful. So, okay, I can do that. But well, how do you integrate on the right-hand side? Okay, here's what you need to do. You kind of need to split it up a little bit. You can use substitution too. I don't know. There's a couple different ways to go about it. But I will probably do the following. You can take x, and then you can say, hey, minus 1 plus 1, and then divide it by 1 minus x dx, and then split it up. And just realize that x minus 1 and 1 minus x are opposites, right? And the second one is going to be just ln. So this will be negative 1. And if you integrate negative 1, you're going to get negative x. Don't worry about the constant. We'll put that at the end. And this one is actually ln absolute value of 1 minus x, but with a minus sign. Why? Because uh, the chain rule, right? Okay. I, I, I made that clear. So it should look something like this. Great. But what about the absolute value? Well, if x is less than 1, then 1 minus x is positive. So this is going to be positive, and it's ln. Absolute value is going to be the same. So we can write it as negative x minus ln 1 minus x, maybe something like this. Okay, if you look at the big picture, this is not the whole thing. I also need an expression for this. I found this but I didn't find this one. How do you find that one? Let's go ahead and take a look. Again, there's a couple different ways to go about it. One way to do it is you can just include or exclude one plus x, write the whole thing and then subtract one plus x, or you can factor out x squared, which I think is easier. And you can write it like this, right? And this will become x squared over one minus x. And then from this, you can just subtract the sky because they're being subtracted, right? Yes, the second fractional part. So it's going to look like this, x squared over 1 minus x minus minus x minus ln 1 minus x. And then you can kind of make a common denominator here, right? And then this should be plus ln 1 minus x, I think, if I'm not mistaken. And then you can make a common denominator, x squared plus x minus x squared divided by 1 minus x. Uh-oh, x squared cancels out. And then you can end up with the expression, which is x over 1 minus x plus ln 1 minus x. I'm hoping that we did not make any mistakes because we're about to check our results with Wolfram Alpha. Are you ready? Do you think Wolfram Alpha can handle this problem? ta da 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 Drum roll. No, it can't. It just says if you write this in as an input, it'll say unable to determine general term. Too bad for machine learning whatever, something model. Okay, but if you do it correctly, of course, you're gonna get an answer. Using the sigma notation, you will be able to get the answer. I think my answer is the same as this because if you switch, you should be getting the same thing. Good job, from Alpha, you were able to do it. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care. Don't forget to check out A plus B, I, and bye-bye.